Well, your DNA is pretty much what you get in life, right? It's inherited. But it can also be changed through exercise. In fact, just a few mo moments of activity a day can make a huge difference to your health. To explain how, our medical consultant, Dr. Marla Shapiro, joins us. And Dr. Marla, we know that exercise is good for us. That's not new. But the fact that exercise can change our DNA is yeah. pretty extraordinary. How so? Well, it is extraordinary because we always talk about the health benefits of exercise and, and we can list many, many health benefits of exercise that we know that are there. But this is a study that looks at the why and the how. Is it just simply because you get leaner mm -hmm. or your muscles get more fit? Well, that is part of it, but there is way more to it. And this study looks at what happens at the cell level. So if we look at what the benefits of exercise are, there's been a plethora of studies. You know, here are some of the lists that we know. We know that it affects cardiovascular disease. Well, your muscle is a heart. That makes sense if your muscle muscles are leaner, your heart is more toned, type 2 diabetes, multiple types of cancer, depression, there is recurrence of cancer has been linked to uh, increasing exercise, obesity, that seems to make sense, you're using more calories, musculoskeletal diseases, but why would that be? Well, part of it, as you mentioned, is that you're just getting healthier and more fit, mm -hmm. but this study looked at what happens at the molecular level in your cells when you exercise? And? Well, we know that muscles are very plastic, meaning that they can respond very quickly. But they took a whole group of sedentary people. So these are people who do not exercise at all. They got them to exercise, and they looked at what happened at the molecular level. And although you can't change the DNA itself, what you can do is turn it on in a sense. And what they saw is, is that very quickly post-exercise and sustained after exercise, the DNA in a sense was more active. The way in which your DNA metabolized, the way in which the genes in the DNA looked were impacted on exercise. And when we know the things like oxidative stress, we talk about antioxidants and the level of the DNA, how that can influence cancer, it tells us that by the increase in exercise, you actually turned on the DNA and the RNA, which is a different part of all the communication in the cells, and it was sustained. So this is, stuff. It, it's very interesting, and it's huge when you talk about keeping uh, you know, cancer at bay or a reoccurrence mm -hmm. at bay, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease. And in some way you say coffee well, has a similar effect? Because coffee actually, and we're not telling you to substitute exercise for coffee, that's not <laughs> the message, okay? Right. But in the study what they found was, was that caffeine does stimulate muscle in the same way. And when they used caffeine, they got the same types of changes in the DNA in terms of turning the DNA on. Yeah. So, you know, athletes who have a cup of coffee before they exercise, are they getting a bigger bang for the buck? We don't know. Medications that use caffeine-like drugs to stimulate muscle, will that take us in a direction? We don't know, but what we did see in the study was that particularly you do have control in a sense over your DNA. Mm -hmm. That it's not just about becoming more fit and more lean, which is clearly important, but the way in which your DNA responds, the health of the DNA, the oxidation of the DNA was impacted very positively by exercise, even in people who never exercised before. So can you get too much of a good thing? Can you have a coffee before you exercise, <laughs> or is that going to work in the reverse? Do we know? You know, we don't really know, and coffee can accelerate your heart rate, so it's yeah. an interesting association, but I'm going to say, let's take the hot coffee away from the exercise, and let's look at the health benefits of exercise itself, and now recognize that we're beginning to understand the how not only the association, yeah. but actually the fact that DNA does respond and does look healthier in a sense when you exercise. And not only do you turn that DNA on and the gene on and the muscle on, but it is sustained after you exercise. So even people who never exercised before, when we look at studies that say even 15 minutes a day have a health benefit, mm -hmm. we now may be looking at understanding the why that happens. I love it. Never too late to turn your DNA on. Yes, turn your <laughs> DNA on. It's a good thing. Dr. Marlo, thanks for this. My pleasure. So, like many Canadians do every day, I went to get my passport renewed.